Hello and welcome back to Ali Kit Review and another video. Today I'm going to be going over the um, Radar 1975 Glock holster um, with the S-Sleep attachment. So in this video it's going to be split down into a couple of parts. I'm going to show you what it's like off the belt, uh, so the actual two pieces itself. And I'm also going to show you what it's like on my belt and then show the, uh, the draw and length and range. Okay, so obviously my previous video is about the drop leg holster, which is exactly the same principle, um, exactly the same maker and company. Um, it's Radar 1975. This is the issued Glock holster. Okay, as you can see, exactly the same as the last video. And this part is actually the same, because obviously it is detachable from the leg holster. Um, and then you also attach it to this S loop here. There is also another attachment um, that I don't currently have. Um, which is the molly attachment which you attach to your vest or your webbing bolts okay so this is um the um the s loop once again it's got the orbital um section here the circular section um, with the two clips there and the toggle there to be able to turn it around okay so actually turning it around i shall just take it off okay so as you can see that is exactly the same as the last video Okay, that is the whole step of three stages of um, retention. If you haven't seen that, please go and check out the other video to uh, find out how this works. But basically, it's got um, the first level of retention, which is obviously the holster itself. And the second level, which is this clip here, which clips over the top of the, uh, the pistol uh, to keep it in place. And also that lock there, which you can see just unlocked so you can take out the pistol. Obviously then, you're turning it back into the holster and locking it in. It's not going to go anywhere. So that is obviously the Glock and the main holster part. The second part of that is the S-loop. Okay, so this is what attaches to your shooter's belt, okay, or any other belt. Um, once again, it's got this platform here to attach on the, um, the actual attachment for the holster. Um, and obviously, you can see here, it's got the belt loops. Um, which slides through and i will show you what it's like on my shooter's belt in a couple of minutes um so this is a really good attachment i you see exactly like the um the drop leg holster it has that little clip there which means you can spin it um 360 degrees uh, to where you want it so i just clip that back on there and see it just clips on at the moment it's in full vertical okay if i clip that uh push that little clip down from the back there i can turn it as far as i need to you know that little clip there okay it locks in at uh, different positions but obviously you can go 360 degrees to where you want it i personally on my belt have it there or one stage back just to ease with the draw of the pistol Okay, so what I'm going to show you now is actually how to attach this air sloop and the holster to my shooter's belt. And I'll show you what it's like when I'm actually wearing my shooter's belt. So I've detached the actual uh, holster and pistol. So now we're just left with the, uh, the air sloop uh, platform to attach onto the belt. Obviously, before I move on, I just want to explain that a couple of points through this next section will be down to personal preference. So obviously, this is ambidextrous. So you can have it on left or right. Um, but obviously it depends on what handed you are um, and what direction your holster is. Also, um, you know, it's up to you whether you put it on the inner belt or the outer belt. Um, personally, I just have the actual outer belt of the shooter's belt. I don't use the inner belt. Okay, so to actually attach it to the belt, you're going to go through the front of this first loop here. You're going to attach it right around the back, miss out that centre part and just go straight through. So it's nice and flat like that. And it's nice and flat like that. Okay, then, you know, it can be slightly tricky depending on how big the molly is. You want to move it around, attach it through to wherever you want your holster to be. Okay, obviously I'll show you the full uh, belt in a second, but that is personally where I like my holster to be. And obviously when you're done fixing your belt back up, you just clip that back on there. So as you can see now, I've reattached my Cobra buckle uh, and my retaining uh, straps for the excess material and um, the holster or the platform is in place now all that's left to do is attach the holster with the click in make sure it's exactly where you want it to be and then obviously you sign off so that's locked in there obviously you can see like i told you in the last video 
um, about the retention strap that comes um, as part of the radar system that goes on the back of your pistol just to make sure when you, if you drop it um, you know it's, it can't get taken from you it's not going to get lost all right that's just going to go on that gap there on my shooter's belt just like that just a velcro attachment and that's my shooter's belt complete so as you can see now this is my pistol and holster attached to my belt all right this is obviously my shooter's belt i have done a video previously um, but i will do an update video when i get some more uh, mag pouches for it okay so obviously i've got my two mag pouches there my um dump pouch there the vertus dump pouch um my med sleeves there with my shear holders there moving around got a little pouch for my multi-tool obviously got my retention system my pistol holster with the s-leap clip um, and then just further around here, I will have my little torch pouch as well. Okay, so moving on to uh, thoughts and obviously prices. Okay, my personal thoughts of this product is that it's absolutely spectacular. Um, if you don't want to use a drop leg because uh, you think it might be too low down, um, or if it fits better with uh, whatever, uh, your body armor, chest rig, anything like that, you know, the S-Loop is absolutely spectacular. Um, I personally prefer it to the drop leg, um, even though I do have both, but obviously the two different items themselves go with the different products. Um, and different loadouts that I use. Um, I will be doing uh, loadout videos in the future when I've got them all sorted. Um, but, you know, back to this, um, it's a really superb piece of kit um, from Radar. You know, Radar are the suppliers of, um, you know, all of the UK's armed forces for their sidearms and holsters. Um, and, you know, I can't recommend it enough. It uh, retails around um, £40. Pounds. Um, you know, there might be price differences depending on the websites you go to. Uh, you can probably get them off uh, UK Tactical and, you know, BrickTac and all that sort of stuff. Um, but just look around, say, on Facebook, eBay. There's loads of different places you can get them from. Um, I got mine for about £40, uh, so that was, uh, you know, really good. Um, don't want to pay too much for it. Obviously, it's just a platform, but if you're getting it with a holster as well, you know, it can take the price up quite a bit. So just to wrap up then, you know, that was the second part of my, um, my holsters videos. Um most of the explanation about the actual holster itself was in the first part uh, within the drop leg video so go and check that out if you want to find out a bit more about the actual holster itself um but this is more about the s loop platform um you know it fits really well on the belt you know it doesn't take up a lot of space and it can be easily interchangeable um you know personally it's one of my favorite bits of kit um in terms of um, holding my pistol um you know i really can't recommend it enough um you know Please uh, keep supporting the channel. I had a little uh, boost of subscribers in the current weeks. Um, you know, I really do appreciate subscribers. I uh, appreciate all the likes that I got on the video. And, you know, I'm more than happy to answer any questions, um, help anyone out, and uh, refer you to different links, um, different places uh, for whatever kit you might need. Um, I do hope you enjoyed the video. Um, there will be more videos coming soon of what I'm not quite sure yet because I do have a few different bits to do. Um, but keep an eye out for that. Um, if you did enjoy the video, obviously, please uh, leave a like. Make sure you're sharing it with all your friends. Um, share it around. Help uh, my channel grow a bit. Um, I am trying to try and keep regular, but it's a lot easier said than done. Um, but there will be more videos coming. And, you know, I do enjoy doing this. Um, but it's, it's good to know that I'm helping other people find out what the best options are. And there will be a couple of collaborations coming in the uh, next few months. So keeping out for that. But for now, um, I'll see you later and keep well.